Uh, okay, hi everyone. Um, so I swore to myself I would never make another freaking video, but here I am. Um, and I just want to cover some really quick awkward things about Thoth um, in this one. So hires just dropped their big mid-season patch notes. Uh, I was going to make this video about a week ago and say like things I think should be changed about Thoth in the mid-season patch. And maybe that would have been a longer, more uh, beefier video, but, but they kind of showed their hand here on what they want to do. Um, and I don't hate it. So I'm very glad they leaned into the idea of rewarding skill shots. I think that's really important on this character. I think that's what's fun about this character. It's why it's my favorite character in the game. Um, and these changes, I I think they're overpowered, but uh, I, I tend to already think Thoth is very viable. Um, so maybe I, I'm just biased. Uh, but I'm not actually really going to be talking about his one today at all. Um, I'm going to be talking about what I wished were in this patch, um, which are some, some quick QOL not even QOL, there's some balance implications, um, but uh, things that make Thoth feel awkward to play, um, and some, some things that I think are, are fundamental issues with the character. Um, so there's two main ones, uh, and they have to do with his ult and his wall. Um, so I, I actually can't believe, I, I was really expecting them to change this in the mid-season patch, um, but I'm going to, to shoot two ults at this Odin bot, right? Um, and we're going to watch the damage amounts. Uh, the first ult is going to be at three-fourths charge. So let's just do that real quick. Two, three. So I charge that ult to exactly three-fourths uh, charge, or approximately three-fourths charge, and I just let it fly. Um, and it did 871 damage to that Odin bot, right? Now, if I do the exact same ult, but I let it charge to full, right? So it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit its first three little corners of the triangle, if you, if you see the little animated indicator. Um, and then it's gonna it's gonna uh, go fully back up to the top, and so it's gonna go kind of full circle on the charge. Two, three, four. Um, that did the exact same amount of damage. Um, now the reason this is a problem isn't necessarily balance, right? It's it's that people that are playing Thoth uh, are learning to awkwardly stop their ult early and and fire it up. Uh, earlier than than is naturally like obvious with the character right uh you think you want to charge it ult to full to do full damage and then you do that and you're actually punished for it time wise the way i learned it which sounds absolutely stupid when i say it out loud but the way i learned it is that uh there's a certain inflection in different skins grunts while they're screaming up to charge their ultimate and if you let your, your ult fly at a certain inflection in the grunt, you don't even have to look at the indicator. You can be focusing on your target and just listening to the grunt. And so in, in, on this skin, it's actually, uh, there's a little like howl in the wind that happens about three force charge. That's when I let it fly. Um, that's kind of a stupid thing to be encouraging players to, to be learning. You know, it, it feels very uh, niche and weird. And you know, if something like Shibalanke ult doesn't feel natural for players to play against. This doesn't feel natural for players to play as, um, because it feels like you can just let it charge all the way up and it would do more damage than if you charge it to even 90%, 80%, but especially 75%, right? Um, so that's the first main thing. Uh, I don't know how you fix it balance-wise, right? Uh, I, I think there's an argument for just making it so that his ult does full damage at full charge and then just reducing the damage all around from there, because I don't think anyone actually shoots it at three-fourths charge instead of ult, uh, full charge, except me because I'm insane. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's just something fundamental in the kit that needs to be changed. The other um, big one, and this is actually going to be a pretty short video, thank the lord. Uh, the other the other one is is to do with his wall and buff camps. Um, so there's a very awkward series of interactions with Thoth's wall and buff camps, and I've played hundreds of games of Thoth. Um, and I have never understood where to put my wall on a buff camp to make it so that I consistently hit the buff camp with both the wall and my auto attacks. Um, so if I, if I proc a camp here, so first thing to notice is if they're inside the wall, they sometimes take the auto attack damage, they sometimes don't. Um, and it starts to feel very awkward, right? Where if I'm even slightly standing in the, in the, uh, in the wall, these don't proc at all. So Thoth, Thoth's uh, actual hitbox cannot be inside the wall at all during during a, a clearing of a jungle camp. Otherwise, he won't be able to hit the opponents with anything. 
or with the, with the wall damage, I mean, um, which is very weird, right? Um, another weird thing about it is that if he activates his one while standing inside the hitbox of the wall, he can actually almost be on the other side, and it will still work. So I know there there's like it can still detect stuff. It's just it's just that there's this very weird area around the wall where only like 50% of Thought's auto attacks will actually proc the wall damage. Um, which is just annoying, right? Because a lot of the times, if you're playing mid, you know, as Thoughts might, you know, usually they're supports, but sometimes Thoughts play mid. Um, and they will often just go straight to a, a level 2 red buff. Um, and sometimes when I'm playing Thoth, I'm not under immediate pressure, I grab the wall, right, to clear the clear the second um, mid wave. That was another opinion I had on Thoth. I, I thought maybe you should have a you should have his wall at level 1 that just did near, no extra damage so he could clear a little bit safer. I think what they did is also fine too. It makes his level 1 clear, um, you know, having the, the rope ramping damage makes his level 1 clear just better. Um, so I think it's fine that it's unsafe. But anyway, um, you'll, you'll sometimes grab the wall at level 2, or just any time in the, in the, in the game. It, it shouldn't matter, right? You should be able... All of these autos should be hitting all of these uh, wall procs. Um, and the fact that they don't do that um, is just frustrating to feel in the game um, because I spent a lot of my brain energy like wiggling back and forth around a wall trying to get 15 extra auto auto damage on a, on a blue buff or whatever um, and that's a little bit of a waste of time right um, but you know overall y y you know so, so so the change to thought did feel good right I, I like what they did in this midseason patch um, I don't know if it came from a place of just like playing a bunch of Thoth, because I know some other Thoth players that also have these complaints. Um, but it's it's fine, I like it from a balanced perspective. Um, one thing I am really glad about, and I will praise Hyras, is I'm so glad they didn't play with the 2 anymore. Um, I really like his new 2, because it makes him feel like a uh, not as cancerous character, right? The, the stun on the 2 was just hard to go against. Um, yeah, he's hard countered by Fenrir now, but you know, who the hell isn't? Um, and so I, I, I like the the penetrative too uh, through gods. I think I think it's a it's a great um, I think it's a great mechanic. Um, and then I just I just love the overall like state of the character right now. Um, and I'm glad they didn't play with it too too much. And I'm excited to play with the new changes. Um, but yeah, so that's all I really have to say about Thoth. It's just there's there's some awkward little uh, you know, pet peeves in the kit, almost, that I just wanted to get out there, um, and it feels like a video is a good way to do it instead of a Reddit post. Um, so yeah, thanks guys, hope you have a good day. Oh, yeah, don't subscribe to me. Um, please, dear god, don't do that. Thank you.